Hi guys, we're Magic Game here, and today we're reviewing King on Door for PlayStation 4. Now, this game is an Angry Birds type of game, except it's uh, pretty much different, more fun, more interesting, more idiotic, and, uh, well, just generally more content for the money that you pay for it. Now there's various levels throughout. There's grenade levels, which you use grenades, obviously. You've got one-lock levels uh, as you uh, progress through the missions, and you've just got your bog standard. Destroy everything in the level levels. Now the soundtrack does kind of remind me of Super Mario for some bizarre reason. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but it just does. It reminds me of Super Mario. But the art style is unique, and as always, it's a great fun little game really is and I like reviewing indie games. These are the games I like to review because these are the guys that take time in uh, making their games more quirky and more available to the casual audience but they don't get enough press. They do not get enough press for the uh, amount of stuff these guys do and I think that's a shame because indie games obviously deserve a lot more than what they get. So um the game guys. The art style is great, the gameplay is fun, the controls are really precise and overall the quality of the game is great. It really is. It's a you know two-dimensional but it just looks really really cool and it's really really good fun. Now you're probably wondering what this will set you back. This will set you back $9.99 in the PS Store which is a bit steep but I do definitely recommend picking this up if you've got a spare tenner laying around because this will keep you going for hours. I've had hours and hours of endless fun with this game. Not once did I get bored, not once. Um, I've had so much fun with this game but unfortunately I've had to uh, leave it a little bit in order to uh, play through other games to review them as well so yeah, my time with this game has been uh, more than, than most to be fair. Now, as you can see, this is the game, you know, this is pretty much it, but it's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth the amount of fun, and if you're playing with families, etc, it's even more fun, and it's just quirky, it's a quirky way of, of um, visualising Angry Birds, really, and it's better. I prefer this Angry Birds, hands down, this game is better than Angry Birds, guys, I'm sorry, you, people are going to disagree with me, but it's much better than Angry Birds, it's much more fun, and... It's just great. It's just really, really cool. So you're probably wondering what score did I give this? Well, I gave this game a 7 out of 10, guys. I think it's definitely worth picking up. I think it's a good game, and okay, it's not great, but it'll keep you going for hours, and it's good, good fun. Just pure fun. And uh, I love games that are all about fun, so... As always guys, check out the written review, which will be down in the description at a later date. I haven't quite got around to writing a review for this yet, which is uh, kind of disappointing for me, as I love writing reviews, but I've been trying to, I've been playing it more than I have been writing, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Check out the written review when it's down in the description. Check out my other videos. Slap the like button like you'd slap some fan bitch's ass. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.